Hello everybody, I am the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization V, the Vox Populi mod as the Iroquois. Welcome back. So, in the last couple episodes, we founded our capital city of Onondaga. We met quite a lot of civilizations actually on our continent itself. We have two scouts out there, two pathfinders. Uh, one, actually they're both north, technically. Which <laughs> holds England, uh, France, Germany... I think Siam's around here somewhere. Uh, Morocco. I think Morocco's out this way, though. And, uh, yeah. So, we're just exploring. It's, it's still the exploration part of the game, which I absolutely love. I do not really like the continent that we're on, because it means that it's very large, which also means that there's going to be a lot of cities and a lot of civilizations on this continent, which I absolutely hate. I always <laughs> have the worst luck when it comes to this kind of um, setup spawning on a continent with more civilizations than it really should have. So, we'll see how this goes. Obviously, it's a huge map. So, technically, we have a lot of space to grow, and I already see a lot of space to grow. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, enough rambling about nothing. Let's go ahead in the next turn and uh, take a look at what's going on. So, we have a lot of barbarians actually down south here. We, we almost were able to take out this encampment, but we sadly had to pull back because, well, this warrior is severely damaged. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll heal there. Uh, as for you, we'll head up uh, this way. We'll bridge the gap of the, the well, the clouds, the Terra Incognita. And as for you, yes, you can't really do anything else. Uh, we can't chop down trees yet. That's going to be eleven turns. Uh, you can't build the uh, tobacco uh, plantation because we don't have calendar. Because I believe we were going to get this first, so that we could chop down the trees on the citrus. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, you were kind of a waste. I should have grabbed Calendar first so I could start working on the tobacco and then switched over to uh, Bronze Working. I, I mean, it's already done, but yeah, I would have done that if I realized it ahead of time. I thought there was a, a forest here. Uh, and this warrior can just sit here and heal. Actually, yeah, 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 heal. I was thinking, I want another warrior, I think. Because I want to take out this goddamn encampment. So. I mean, it's turn 35. I definitely need this settler. But after that, they'll need a warrior. And then uh, we should be okay for a little while. So this freaking hand axe is coming up here. So we'll go ahead and attack it. It looted Onondaga for two gold. Two freaking gold. They just came in, swiped them, and then left. Well, you're not getting off that easy, okay? We have zero tolerance for looters in Onondaga. In the Great Iroquois Kingdom. Or as some people like to say Iroquois. Uh, Iroquois? Iroquois. Uh, people are... See, that's it. The, there's two pronunciations for the Iroquois. The Iroquois... Qua, could, the, French, right? It's a French word. I don't... Honestly, I have no idea. I'm not very educated in the history of this, uh, this, this confederation, but I'm, I'm very eager to learn, obviously enough. Um, it's, I, it's a French-sounding name. So maybe the French named them? I, no, because they had to call themselves something. I, hon I, honestly, I have no clue. Absolutely none. So... I mean, if people could tell me in the comments, that'd be fantastic. But there are two correct pronunciations for the tribe, uh, confederation, whatever you want to call it. So, the way I'm saying it isn't wrong. Let's just say that. <laughs> so, the Germans are up here on my border, uh, as well as somebody. Oh, the French Pathfinder and a ton of barbarians, it seems. That's not good at all. Well, good thing I'm building that extra warrior. Because <laughs> there are a lot of barbarians over here. Let's, uh... Right there. Right there. Yeah, Gross. England. <laughs> okay. Uh, this warrior can heal, please. We're building a granary in one turn. That should definitely help our food growth. It's going to give us 15% population growth. That is pretty damn strong. This Pathfinder is absolutely screwed. It's probably going to die. Alright, nothing up here, really. 
That's depressing. I was hoping to find... I don't know, more ruins? I mean, we're not going to find any more ruins this, this late in the game. No, I, not this late, it's only turn 38, but it, this continent, like I said, is so congested that it's pretty uh, highly unlikely that we're going to find anything new in terms of ruins. So, sadly, I think we're done with that, but, you know, we might get lucky. We have a Siamese Spearman over here, which isn't uh, a welcoming sign. Granted, it probably upgraded due to a ruin, but I still don't like it down here. Uh, oh. We can get Trailblazer 1, which doubles our movement in uh, jungles and forests. Perfect. Okay, let's get the hell out of there. <laughs> it's still probably going to attack us. Damn it. And we... Oh my god, we're getting surrounded. Shit. Alright, hang on. Before we do that, work on the warrior. Also, we have two more turns till the citizen's built anyway. So we don't want to waste any, any turns. Uh, yeah, I was... I called that one. Well, this is goddamn annoying. Right. Well, I guess we'll keep exploring this way. And this way. Hey! It's King Solomon's Mines! That's one of the natural wonders that you don't really see often. Uh, so this gives us happiness. Awesome. Uh, and output, if worked, is four production and two faith outright, and then two production for every era until the end of the game. That is a pretty insane early wonder to grab. So if you settled, or, or if you were settled somewhere close to this, you'd be very, very well off. I mean, if we take a look, already that's a great production tile. And then, of course, that that increases quite a bit each era. That's, that's perfect. Um, sadly, it's way too far away. I mean, it's... Well, yeah, it is. It's way too far away. I, I don't want to even attempt that. Not right now, at the very least. Uh, Onondaga can attack. Of course he can. <laughs> well, I guess we'll attack the uh, the hand axes. Kill him! Come on! Kill, 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 kill! Kill! No, you bastard! Shit. How much hit points? Four hit points left. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I, I swear to God, if he pillages this tile, I'm going to be really mad. So they assaulted and took seven science from us. Those bastards ran into my freaking science lab, or whatever the equivalent would be back then, and took a bunch of beakers, or notes, or seven... What? Seven... I don't even know. Like, I, I can't... What would you... What would you research back then? I mean, it really wasn't a research. It was more like a developing kind of thing. Uh, they, they would develop sharper tools or better... Uh, resources to make those tools or something like that. So that that was basically research back then. It was more developing rather than sitting in a lab trying to figure out the best way to do something, you know? But uh, either way, thinking too much about this. They just took seven science from us. That's all that needs to be said. City event choice. Nomadic incursion. <laughs> really? They got through these barbarians? Uh, uh, that's impressive. Why don't you give us a... Well, I guess we can take a look. So, a group of nomadic peoples have appeared at your borders. Uh, and they petition for the rights to settle in your territory. They seem friendly and are willing to negotiate in order to gain what they desire. How do you respond? Give them land, but only if they adopt uh, or adapt to our culture. Gain 100 border growth points towards border growth. And it only affects... Okay, that's okay, but it's not the greatest. Uh, drive them out and steal whatever we can take. So 50 gold and 50% chance that, that two barbarians will spawn next to my city. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a bad decision. Because if they spawn, that's just way too much to handle. Invite them to settle, but only if their finest soldiers join our army. I'm definitely going to do this one. But uh, we can also take a look at this one. So invite them to integrate into the city so that we may learn of their culture, uh, which means that we gain one citizen for free and a hundred great musician points in the city. Great musician? It's a little strange for a bunch of nomads, but they're a bunch of nomadic bards, essentially. They're just <laughs> they're going from, from place to place, singing and dancing. <laughs> uh, so I guess we'll invite them to settle uh, with their soldiers. Which gives us another warrior. Okay. I mean, I would have liked a spearman, but it, I don't think it can unless we have that unlocked. But that, that certainly helps. Yes. Kill them. 
Perfect. All right, so Siam is here to help. Hopefully it takes care of this encampment. I wouldn't get the gold, obviously, that I wanted, but as long as it's gone and this is taken care of, I'll be much better off. Oh, come on. Really? Leave me alone, goddammit. All right, let's... First and foremost... Oh, I could get flanking on this, but I think I'd rather send him out to attack the archers. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, you can heal. I didn't know you were... Yeah, I guess heal. And we have another promotion on this guy, so we'll probably grab... Well, we could grab Trailblazer 3, which ignores Zona Control and attempts to withdraw when faced with a melee attack. That's pretty decent. I, I imagine that's going to be, like, similar to the Winged Hussars. Um, instead of... Uh, after attacking, they get pushed back. Maybe... Oh, maybe... I honestly don't know. And attempts to withdraw when faced with a melee attack. So that does that mean that we just dodge the attack completely? Or... I'm not sure how this works, but I think I'd rather the scouting one. Not only does it increase our visibility range, but also the, the Pathfinders and Scouts gain uh, experience per each tile unlocked. So, theoretically, getting Scouting 1 increases our vision range, which increases our experience gain. So we'll gain the next promotion very, very quickly, and so on and so forth. So I think this is, this is going to be um, much better for us. Plus, we can see more, so we spend less time out here. Alright, uh, we'll head down... Eee. We do have a lot of strength, I guess, against this guy, so I guess we'll come down here and meet Buenos Aires. Which grants us two culture. Not much, but I guess it's something. They're hostile. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Let's... Uh, yeah. Attack the archer, please. We also gained five science back in the capital, so we're technically we're at a net loss of two for the past couple turns uh, because we gained a new citizen, so that gives us more more um, science, which is pretty nice. So we didn't lose that much science or progress, I should say, on uh, bronze working. We also, of course, like I just said, gained a new citizen, but I don't think anything. Is, yeah, they're all pretty much the same, and we can't work on this one because they're obviously sitting on it. So just keep it free. So we're gaining. Um, Great Artist points. 37 turns, and we'll grab a Great Artist. That's very, very early on. This is why I like this uh, Tradition branch. It's because each one of these gives us points towards a Specialist. So yeah, this one gives us Engineer, uh, Scientist, Merchant, and then a Great Writer. So we're going to grab quite a lot of Great People points very early on. And we can actually see. So it looks like Morocco is going the same way as us. Uh, Bismarck went... Progress. Looks like France went authority. Uh, looks like Siam went progress as well, and then progress with England. So me and Morocco are going tradition. So we're going to be ahead in terms of great people. That's that's actually quite nice. Well, not that Morocco's ahead. I mean, they're already at the top of the board, but that there's not a lot of people grabbing tradition. So anyway, two turns until we grab another warrior. Then we should be able to fend these guys off very, very easily. Looks like Siam's taking care of this guy in the south, which is perfect. Less people to worry about. We should be able to come back up soon and take out this encampment. I would like to, to do that. I gotta get out of here. There's way too many barbarians over there for my one lonely little pathfinder. Alright. Oh, come on. I can't even... I'm gonna go around. It's it's not worth it. Oh my god. God damn it, there's so many barbarians. I don't even have raging barbarians on either. Like, come on. Alright, chase him down. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm gonna run... Okay. Oh, that's right. I'm the Iroquois, so I get movement in forests. So you know what? I'm actually going to sit there. No. Yeah, I'm going to sit there. Because next turn I can bring out this other warrior to grab the flanking bonus. And then this guy's just screwed. <laughs> He's just screwed. Um, I'm going to come back up here. Ah, damn it, they healed. That's not what I wanted. But maybe Siam will help. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll find out. Hey, Bismarck! Jesus. 
Jesus. All right. I I guess you really wanted to help me. <laughs> That's really nice of you. Oh shit. Oh no. I may have made a mistake. He's still alive. Oh, what the? God damn these barbarians! This is insane. And I hate hand axes. Hand axes are, are the most annoying barbarians out there in the early game because they deal a lot of damage. They are protected against a lot of damage. They have a high defense. Uh, they're just overall really goddamn annoying. You know? It's just... it's. Ugh. All right. Um, I'm going to run back this way. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if I have to, I'll run through Hanoi. And, oh my, of course. Why wouldn't there be an encampment there? All right. <laughs> Another warrior is uh, out. Uh, yeah, send you there. Well, I, I suppose you can actually heal and then come down this way. We'll grab Shock 1. Shock 1 grants extra flanking bonus uh, by 25%. Pretty nice. So, uh, seven turns until we get another Settler, and then we'll send it down over here, I believe. And also, Hanoi targets that encampment, which means that we'll actually gain some uh, relations with Hanoi once we, uh, well, kill it. Let's go over there. I swear, if this guy tracks me down and kills me, I'm going to be really mad, but... Uh, over there. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, well, we found France. So they are pretty close to England. This is going to be really nice, actually, watching this unfold. Yeah, we're going to swing by this way again. Try to go around the encampment, see what else is out down here. We had that flanking bonus now, so we'll attack and attack. Kill it! Come on! Yes! Perfect! All right. So now we'll uh, shift this guy down to uh, the encampment down here. Same with you. In fact, we'll give you one more turn to heal, and then we'll send you down. We'll take this encampment out. We'll be much, much better off. And then Hanoi will love the crap out of me, which will also give me units. And I believe this guy is... Yes, he'll give me the horse archer, which is a pretty early unit. So if I can ally him now, we'll actually get those. Uh, this guy can move down here. And then we'll heal him there for a couple turns while this guy's coming down. Alright. Trying to be very methodical about what I'm doing here. Make sure that I, uh, don't really waste any turns. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Go there! There is France with more freaking barbarians. I cannot stand how many there are right now. This is unbelievable. England has another settler out. Don't know where they're going to go. Uh, looks like out this way somewhere. Well, good luck. There's a lot of barbarians over here. And over here. And you know what? Pretty much everywhere. Okay, there's, there's no good place to settle. And it looks like Hanoi is taking care of these barbarians for me. Although... I'm pretty sure they're still going to attack me, because they, for some reason, I don't know if this is hard-coded or not, but the barbarians, yes, so there we go. So the AI barbarians seem to always attack the player in any available circumstance that it can attack the player. So even if, right, even if, oh, shit, I don't know why I skipped that. Well, we just got bronze working. Sorry, but I usually don't skip that. Uh, bronze working, which gives us the Spearman, uh, the Statue of Zeus, reveals iron, and allows chopping down of forests. Yeah, I don't, yeah, this, that was strange, I don't know why I did that. Um, what was I saying? My god, I am just so flustered right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so the AI barbarians will pretty much always target you, even if there's a more tantalizing target, say, a very, very wounded Spearman, right? Maybe less than a quarter health left. It'll still attack you if you're in proximity. So I, I, it's very strange the way that works, exactly. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this exactly. So. Ah. 
Just, just heal. And we'll heal there as well. Okay. Come on down. We have another policy, so we'll grab uh, Justice, which gives us that Royal Guardhouse. And more strength with a, when attacking uh, with our city. Or our cities with a garrison gain 50% ranged combat strength. That would have helped when we were attacking the guys around here. <laughs> Absolutely would have helped. Oh, we can actually upgrade. I don't think I'm going to 100 gold. Or no, 70 gold, sorry. I very well could, though. If I do it, I'll do it to this guy, because he's got the promotion. So, yeah, might as well. Alright, you come down, though. Okay, I'm hoping that we buy time down here so that Hanoi kills off the remaining uh, Hand Axe Barbarian. We save this guy. It looks like... Yeah, he's dead. Perfect. Thank you, Hanoi. Absolutely wonderful. And then these guys are probably going to be ready to attack this encampment very, very shortly. It looks like there are more barbarians coming in from the, the west, so we got to get this done very, very quickly. I would like to heal a turn, I think. Okay. You can actually sit there and heal. I don't think you're going to be um, useful for a while anyway. Continue to be fortified, please. The English tribe is now called the English Republic. Well... <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, this guy's gonna get more and more injured each turn, but we really don't have a choice. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, while he is getting injured, all three... Oh, are you kidding me? That is absolute bullshit. <laughs> Let's go over there. Fortify, please. I don't want you to stop fortifying. This Pathfinder can upgrade to Trailblazer 2, which is uh, double movement in desert and in snow. And we'll send you out this way to meet uh, Bucharest. Perfect. Oh, there's a settler in here. Hmm. That's enticing, but I don't have anything that could attack that right now. And if it was more, you know, if it was a lower hit point barbarian, I might be able to do it with this Pathfinder, but right now it's just not possible. Right? Really? I can't even look? Oh, okay, fine. Well, anyway, I think that we'll leave it off here. Uh, next episode, we'll settle our second city down on the coast here, which is, well, perfect. So that way there, we can actually get some galleys out and scout out the rest of this, uh, this continent uh, from the sea. We'll also handle this encampment once and for all, kill the, the remaining barbarians, make sure this is a clean and purged area from the barbarians. We'll also become friends, I believe, with Hanoi because of that. Uh, we're going to try to... Well, we could we could try to go, to go for this one, but I don't think we're going to go too much into that. There's a lot of iron here. Holy crap. There's about uh, 12. 12 iron in this little area. That's actually quite perfect. And in this area... One, two... One, two, three... Hmm. Maybe we go here instead. Do we still get the ivory? We still get the wheat. But we also get that uh, other six iron. Yeah, so I'm thinking right there. There's a lot of iron. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's crazy. Alright, well, either way, uh, that is going to be it. Thank you all for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.